And now because Pilaf is legitimate beauty guru on YouTube, time for sexy slow-mos. <laughs> Hello, beautiful, and welcome to makeup! A special edition of Rocketman makeup. So while Pilaf was working today for her dollar so that she can fund caffeine addiction and makeup addiction, she had this idea. Pilaf knows. Pilaf knows that she is an out of this world experience. She is a goddess among humans. So she decided instead of just trying to tell people, instead of just telling people how great she is, she would be and with all of these scandals and shade and tea and blah 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 Pilaf wants to bring it back. Pilaf wants to take a moment, bring everything back to how this all started. Where it was just us sitting down, having fun, painting our faces and just becoming something else. Just letting our inner beauty shine through. So, with all of that said and done, let's get on to the fun and let's get on to the makeup. To start today's tutorial, I'm sick of eyebrows. In specifics, right brow. Why? Because right brow is deciding to have a mind of its own today and I did not give it permission. So, we are going to eliminate eyebrow. We're just going to cake it with glue and take leaf out of drag queen book. Got to comb down tiny hairs. Make it nice and flat and beautiful. That is stunning. Maybe I should do that to other brow. While well, eyebrow has been drying, Pilaf has drawn sketch of what she wants makeup to look like. And Pilaf knows, Pilaf is very, very aware that this is in competition with the Mona Lisa, but it is okay. Pilaf is ever so humble. And Leonardo da Vinci, you may have the spot in the Louvre. Now, Pilaf is not drag queen. Pilaf does not really have talent when it comes to makeup. She just does this for fun. She sees people put powder over top of brow to like pack it in. Um, but Pilaf does not have fancy powder or money for fancy powder but she has baby bum powder and a sponge so we are just going to use that and hope for best Pilaf's face has never felt so smooth maybe Pilaf should do this to whole face oh now there is powder on Pilaf's hands and because Pilaf is trying new thing of like thinking ahead she's just going to go ahead and conceal the whole entire scene that is her face now instead of later now Pilaf looked genuinely crazy but where did the eyebrow go? Pilaf did such a good job! Pilaf's so proud of herself. Okay, now we get to get on to the fun part. Is everyone excited? Is everyone buckled up for the insane ride that we are about to go on? The insane journey. Pilaf has mirror there with light around it so that she can like see what she is doing this time. But it means that Pilaf look a lot paler than usual. But that is okay. Pilaf has his wolf face paint and she's going for the color silver. And we are going to start to paint rocket ship without stencil because like stencils are too easy. <laughs> we want to make this challenge for ourselves. How does one paint rocket ship. Pilaf doesn't actually know how this is going to turn out. In her head, it is going to turn out amazing. People are going to be like, oh my goodness gracious, who is this masterful person? Um, but in realistic terms, um, it could turn out like doo-doo. Our rocket is now serving body odi odi, so I'm going to try and go in for some wings and nice little nose and hope that right hand stop being shaky. Mr. Rocket Man is going to be so happy. He has window to look out uh, so he can laugh at his friends and laugh at his enemies. You can have fun both ways. Our beautiful Mr. Rocket Man now has window to look out of. So while this is all drying, we have to make sure that our Rocket Man has had lift off. We have to make sure that Rocket Man has fire coming out the bottom. Like he just had Taco Bell and it was not good Taco Bell. So Mr. Rocket Man is going to have some flames coming out of his little caboose. I need mirror in hand so that I do not... Ooh, look at that. Ooh. It was a cold and stormy night. <laughs> Go with some yellow flame and then some orange flame and then some red flame because our rocket man is sophisticated gentleman. He has ombre kind of flame coming out of caboose. It is going to look like cute cartoon rocket man on Pilaf face. And you know what? Pilaf is not mad about that. Pilaf loves a cute little cartoon man on face. Ooh, rocket man is looking hot. Now because rocket man is a bit of a cartoon rocket man, we are going to line him. Where is my black? Is this black? Is this, this black is dried out. Pilaf is messy. Doesn't Mr. Rocket Man look like happy boy? But now that there is flame, I must put some smoke. If you have flame, there is always smoke. I found a shade of sin stick paler than my actual skin color. We are just going to put a bit of white down first. My cat is hungry. Q 
kitty cat. Could you not wait until after peel off start makeup tutorial? People want to know how she become Rocket Man. You're just going to carry her down neck. Because it cannot just end at face. <laughs> that would be inconsistent. Ma wow. Mother, I be hungry. Ma wow. Ma wow. Ma wow. Ma wow. You're going to room filming. Last week it was Bonnie. This week it is going to be Cat. Then to give the smoke a bit of definition because smoke is not white. Oh, smoke can be white. If it is magnesium that is on fire. Peel off digress. Using her not James Morphe palette, she will be using some of the darker shades to kind of like just shade in a bit of the smokiness using just a Lux Petite crease brush. I don't think the brush really matters. It's more so like, oh, as long as it does the job. I don't know how this is going to go, but I hope well. Then while I'm here, I may as well try and chisel myself a bit of a jawline. Because let's be honest, Pilaf does not have much of jawline. Pilaf has cute little chubby face. Pilaf may have gotten a bit carried away. Oh well, Pilaf never really knew how to paint between the lines. <laughs> Why start now? <laughs> Now that we have our smoke going, we want to add some definition to it. Keep the cartoon likeness going. So we are just going to add in some cute little swirlies into our smoke using our black face paint. I could use liner, but like, I need to save that for eyes. Now this moment is crucial. Peel off, do not mess this up, otherwise we have to start again. So cute little swirlies. What if we, what if we start, start here instead? is not too impressed with this section of the makeup look. Uh, so we're just going to skip that and come back to it later and do this eye instead. So what I am thinking is doing like a blue, a blue but like, eh. So I have no idea what I am actually going to do. Instead I am just going to have fun with whatever kind of comes about on my face. I think that I am definitely going to go for a red look though. I'm thinking red. So I'm just going to grab red and start putting it on my eyelid and see how that works out. Probably not well, and this is why peel off should really plan ahead in life. But where would be the fun in that? Peel off likes the unknown. Peel off finds that a bit spicy. Oh, we can operate it like flame coming out of rocket bottom. Now that I've used that lovely red shade, we are going to go for this bright orange and just use the same brush to buff out the red. And then we're going to put yellow on top of that just so that we can have that like little ombre that we have over here. Oh, that actually kind of worked. Peel off is such a smart cookie. And then to help me blend a bit more because peel off did not think ahead, I'm just going to use the highlighter shade underneath brow, even though we have not done brows yet. But it just kind of helps the blending process. And because no look is complete without glitter, we want to put down our concealer base and then our shiny shadow and then our glitter so that we can really enhance this look. So I'm just going to get Sin Stick and that tiny brush that is not for this job and do what I usually do. Half with concealer, then shimmer eye chalk and then glitter shade and then she is all done and nice and cute. There is only one shimmery kind of yellowish orangish Oh, there is red color. I don't think I have red glitter though. Okay, so we are going to go for this color all over and then we'll put glitter on and then to kind of like buff it all together, we will put shiny red shade. See, peel off can think ahead. I think it was only peel off that said that she couldn't, but like that is okay. Oh, peel off like that shade, except her finger smudged it everywhere. Peel off is a rocket man. Rocket man. And then we will just get this nice little shiny red shade, this one, and kind of buff out the middle a bit so it's kind of orangish in the middle so it kind of looks like there is some sort of blending even though, let's be honest, we did not put in any effort into this part of the blending. And then I will get glitter and then I will put glitter on top and everyone will be like, oh my gosh, wow, she's goddess. Her makeup skills are out of this world. Glitter that we are using today is of course Stila, which I like to steal from my sister. <laughs> Peel off is so good at jokes today. And then I'm just going to put that all over the yellow and try and blend it into the reddish kind of shimmer shade today. It just gives it a little bit more dimension, a little bit more like ooh la la sensation. Peel off has been watching way too much RuPaul's Drag Race lately. Then for bottom lashes, peel off know that she should probably use the same colors, the reds, the oranges and all of that. Keep a 
consistent, but you know what? Pilaf doesn't like to play by those rules. Pilaf wants to do what Pilaf wants to do. And you know what? There's some blue in there, there's some red in there. So I'm going to go the opposite side of the color spectrum and put in some blue on the bottom lashes. Just to give it a bit more of a, ooh, what is she doing over there? But I kind of like it, kind of vibe, yes. Yes, Pilaf is whispering because it is serious business. So I'm just going to get this dark color there and I'm going to line bottom, bottom lashes. Pilaf is very sorry for lighting today. She finished work a lot later than expected, so because of that, the sun decided to go to sleep. And instead, the moon decided to say hello. Pilaf, once again, does not have an eyeliner to match bottom lashes, but that is okay because Pilaf has matte lipstick that is dark blue. Pilaf does not know if you're supposed to put matte lipstick this close to your eyeball, but she's going to do it anyway. It is now time for stressful part. Eyeliner, please stop making that sound. You have to last. Peel off cannot afford another one of you. Okay, everyone knows the drill by now. Flick, hope for best. Okay, at least we only have to do one eye today. That is good. Okay, hands stop shaking. Flick, drag. That is shape today. Now we just gotta fill in the rest. Peel off forgot the inner corner highlight. Hey, peel off. You have brain inside the head. You need brain to be alive, to function, to be more than a single cell organism. Where did you put the highlight? To so this very day, Pilaf's cheek palette is the one with the, where the highlighter decides to work very, very well. So she's just going to mix the purpley kind of one with the top kind of one and just give the inner corner a real pizzazz. Oh, look at that pizzazz. Now that the inner corner is highlighted, we go in with the liner. Or keep going with the liner, let's be honest. And hopefully my hand has stopped shaking now. Peel off. You did such a good job. Look at that line. Oh, she looks so sharp. She looks so fierce. Peel off. Now that line is done, we are just going to use our torture device to curl this side. Do not pinch. Oh, excellent. Peel off cannot seem to do lashes without pulling some sort of like kind of face. Is that just peel off? Now that lashes are curled, we are going to put on our eye feathers. So we are just going to apply lash glue to the eye feather. Wait for it to get tacky and then stick to our eyelid, not the lashes because we like natural lashes staying in the face, on the face. And while we wait for that to get tacky, we are going to do our brow using my chocolate bar palette. There is a color in there which is same color as Peel off's eyebrow. This one, the dark brown one. And then we are just going to fill in eyebrow. The best thing about this look is like, you only really have to do proper makeup on one side of the face. So you don't have to worry about the wings matching up. You don't have to worry about the eyebrows matching because why? You're not doing the other side. <laughs> peel off is such smart cookie. Now peel off wants cookie. Ooh. Glue is now nice and tacky like Peel Off's career and we are just going to try and place it on the eyelid instead of the eyelashes. Except they are stuck to tweezers. Lash is now on so all we have to do now is try and fix this eye and then just do the contouring and the highlighting and then the lips. So Peel Off did not thro think through what she was doing with this eye. Because at the moment it just kind of looks bare. Like I should have like a little bit of oomph, shouldn't I? So we are just going to do that eye a little bit natural. So I have my Naked Palette by Urban Decay. And we are just going to use the paler shade just to kind of like sit. Just to kind of like act as a bit of a base. And then we're just going to get this color called... I think it says Lint. I think that color is called Lint. And then we're just going to add the teeniest bit of definition on the little like orbital bone, I think is what everyone called it. Highlight that little bad boy. Then I'm just going to add a teeny bit of liner to the actual eye so it kind of like works its way in with the rest of the rocket, but not so much that it's like an actual wing, just enough to like give shape to the actual eyeball. Pilof has decided that this eye just it just does not have the same wow, the same pizzazz, the same ooh la la as the other eye does. And that's fair enough because like that eye just, oh, look at, look at her. She just looks absolutely fabulous. So we're going to put on some eye feathers onto this eye as well. And I'm still deciding whether I should line the bottom lashes or not. I think I might do like some red and then some with concealer just so it matches up with the rocket ship. 
At the end of all of this, I'm making it up as I go along. I'm just trying to have a bit of fun with my face and do a bit of art on it, I guess. Because really, makeup is whatever you want it to be. If you want it to be a giant rocket ship on your face, go for it. If you want it to be a bit subtle, go for it. Makeup only has limitations if you limitate yourself. That looks so much better! And because that decision worked out so well, Peel Off is going to use her Chanel red lipstick to try and line the bottom lashes of this eye as well. I am so so sorry Chanel lipstick. You are such a good lipstick and I hope not to ruin you with this liner brush. I'm actually quite happy with this idea. Except I've now aggravated my eyeball, so now my eye just looks red, but like, whatever. We are just going to go for it. Now that that is all done, we are just going to contour and highlight and fix up the smokiness down here. We are so close to finishing our Rocket Man look. And I'm actually quite happy with how this is turning out. So don't forget, fish face. Then we just go back in with the highlighter. I like this shade, this shade, and this shade. Why have one highlighter when you can have three? Oh, Pilos forgot to hit off the excess. Well, there's lots of highlighter with this look. And then we just like to do a little toot toot on the nose and a little boop boop on the bridge. And then duck face. Get that cupid bow glowing. I'm thinking red lip. Seductress. So I got the Chanel lipstick for my birthday years ago now, but it is the 104 passion shade. So I think we are just going to go for red and hope that this looks good. Peel Off also does not have lip liner, so she just kind of has to hope for the best. She pretty much does that with all of her makeup though. With the lipstick now on, I put my earrings back in and I thought to myself, I could put on cheap wig, but at the same time, does not elevate look. Cheap wig looks like Cheap wig at the end of the day, but with all of this on, you are done! Because Peel Off is now a legitimate beauty guru, time for sexy slow-mos. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> with all of our makeup on, our lovely Rocket Man painted, our earrings on, we are looking fabulous! Do not forget to show the world how sexy you are, because the world deserves to see how sexy you are. They are deprived unless they know. And do not, do not, please do not forget what dearest mother always says. If you can say something nice, say something cruel.